Ako kinisi in dahi pobrisita, pobri in taon nga dalaga. Ang ako gasa, mga gulay ra. <laughs> so I don't want it to be like so, so lata, so rotten. No, like so. Baba, you have to help me. I don't know. And there you go. The peanut pet alareya alami is cooked. Hello friends from the United States to the Philippines to all over the world. Charot! <laughs> Hello from the inside of my house in my kitchen. Today I am going to cook one of the Filipino all-time favorite dishes and it's called Pinakbet. It's good, you bet. <laughs> so I've already washed all of the vegetables and also I've already uh, prepare the meat that I am going to mix in with the vegetables because it's a dish which um, actually uses a lot of vegetables so let me go ahead and show you the veggies that I have here Ta -da! Ta -da! isn't it lovely oh my goodness look at that oh so, this is eggplant in the Philippines we call it talong talong because it's very long Alone. And then we call these kamates, which is tomato. And then we have bitter melon, ampalaya, and then okra, or my friend actually says that it's lady's finger. I don't know. I love okra, but I don't know what's the English of okra. But I'll go with what she said. And this is a squash or kalabasa, and then onions, and hi. Gihanga <laughs> kuda. I'm grasping my breath from that dance. And this is jalapeno or serrano pepper. I am not so sure, but I just picked this because it looks like it's gonna be good for that. And I know we use that to cook peanut bit. I'm so sorry. I'm not an expert in cooking, like I said. And this is garlic, of course. And that's about it. And then the meat. The meat is gonna be pork pork so the pork belly which is chopped into little cubes and then I just put salt and pepper and then put it back to the refrigerator and have it set there for until it's ready for me to use it to cook so let's go ahead and check it out um, some other people they don't even bother to like marinate it anymore they just like cut it and then just toss it with the vegetables. But this one, it's not really marinade, marinade, but it was sitting in the refrigerator for maybe 30 minutes now. So with the salt and pepper and I use tahin powder. I don't know, I just love tahin powder now. So I just sprinkle it with some tahin powder a little bit. So that's what you can see there, kind of like some sprinkles of uh, chili flakes so to have like a little cake to it so now i'm gonna go ahead and chop the vegetables and then we can start cooking my husband is watching something on tv i don't know what it is so i'm using a spoon now what are you watching bo huh This is a cooking show with drama rama included all in one. 
So, cooking show plus drama. Where else can you get the channel from? to put this pork in, huh? It's actually a lot. Probably like half kilo of pork belly that I'm going to toss with the veggies. So, I have a secret ingredient. This has been my secret ingredient for like a while now. It's crispy anchovy chili again so it's like almost done i got it from the same store where i got all of these it's spicy um but it's not a strong smell so that's what we're gonna use instead of the bagoong this the bagoong my husband is going to kick me out of the house <laughs> he doesn't even like the smell of the garlic and the onion. So again, I am now sauteing the pork. Mm -hmm. There you go. So we'll wait. We'll wait and wait. Again. Sauté, sauté lang. show it to you. Sauté in the Philippines is called gisa. Right? Tama. I can also teach you how to speak Filipino if you are an American or a different nationality watching my channel. Let me know if you want me to teach you how to speak. Teach me. I'll teach you. <laughs> I'll teach you how to cook. I'll teach you how to speak Tagalog. I'll teach you everything you wanted to know. Charo. <laughs> Maybe you have plans after COVID to go to the Philippines, go to the beach, enjoy the scenery, go find you a Filipina. <laughs> Oh, I can't. I, I'm doing a matchmaking too. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're just doing cooking and all the fun things in life. Simple, but fun. Okay? So, again, I am going to let it sit for until when it's brownish already. And it's ready. Ready. So I'm going to put a bouillon cube. Where's my cube? So actually, my cube is chicken. My cube is chicken. <laughs> but I don't care. It could be pork, chicken, beef, shrimp that you can put. You know, it's okay. So I'm gonna put one right there. So while it's simmering, it absorbs the cube, the broth, cube broth, or what do you call that? And then, so we're gonna cover it and let it sit here, okay? And voila! So you can see the fats are starting to come off from the meat. And oil in the so we are going to add some more minutes. So it will be like brownish a little bit. And then we can add um, the tomatoes so it will be like reddish. Yeah, we need to eat the push up. I like it like that. I like it like that. Yes. Ooh. There's so many fats. If you don't want like this, you can just add like 
the meat in all flesh like no fat not the belly part but this is the pork belly and it's fresh from the market which is uncured i should say Charot. so it's good so that's how it looks now then we are going to add the squash kalabasa because they are hard and it takes a little bit longer for them to cook compared to the other vegetables. So, ayan. Tru-tru-tru time. Then, I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So, it can simmer a little bit. So, we'll cook the kalabasa. So, this is already very tasty. I can assure you that. And we're gonna add this already too as well. So now we are going to let it sit and maybe for like five minutes we're gonna check it. We don't want it to be, to be overcooked because I don't want the vegetables like that. Especially the halabaza because like I said it has that sticky texture to it. So I don't want it to be like so so lata. <laughs> so rotten. No, like so. Baba, you have to help me. <laughs> I don't know. So my secret, so the vegetables are not going to be so overcooked and be drowned with the liquid that you put in it. You have to like add water like half a cup at a time. So right now, so it will cook the other vegetables on top. I'm going to put like or add like another half a cup of water there you go and then cover it again for another five minutes and then we'll see okay so this is how it looks now after we leave the implant for five minutes and then we are going to put our secret ingredient as I call it it's the chili um, anchovy the crunchy chili anchovy so that will give it a kick. So instead of the bagawang or the salted fish, that is what we are going to use. Or yeah, that's that's what we're using instead of the bagawang. And then we have to mix it in. So I just put a spoon of the crunchy chili anchovy. The spoon wasn't even full all the way because this is actually spicy so you don't want it too too spicy so it's up to you but if you want it like hot hot and spicy and like burning hot then you can add some more so now i am about to put in the bitter melon and the okra so look at that how pretty that is it's so colorful already and then i'm gonna add another half a cup of water and then that would be it for the last leg of the cooking <laughs> so now i'm going to cover it and then we're gonna check in three minutes there you go so i have already tasted the sauce um, but then I am going to put a little bit of soy sauce. Kasi nawala yung kanyang alat. So hindi siya masyado. Uh, yeah, just, just, there you go. Maybe like two spoonfuls of soy sauce. And there you go. The peanut pet ala reya ala mi is cooked. Let's taste it. I'm so excited to eat it with my basmati rice. Look how beautiful that is. So as you can see, the ampalaya and the okra are not overcooked. And I'm set up. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Because uh... <laughs> my peanut bed is bet na bet. <laughs> After probably about less than an hour cooking. And I am going to eat it with some basmati rice. And then I am heading to my friend's house, Viva class, to send or bring her, send, 
bring her some. Ayan. So let me taste it in front of the camera. So you'll see. Oh my goodness. Ang dami niyang pork. My goodness. Which is really good, right? Because we are carnivores. Carnivores. And where's the calabasa? We have to eat calabasa too. Mmm, so pretty. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Isn't it so delicious? Let's do the verdict by tasting it. Of course, I'm gonna do the honors because you're just on the other side of the camera. Charot, other side. Okay, um, let me taste it. And so I got the meat and the calabasa. Mmm. Mmm, so good. Of course, I'm so excited. It's so hot. Mmm. <laughs> Ayan. Oh, I can just eat it just like this. Kahit walang rice. How about you? Pero mas masarap talaga to with rice and then suka and sile. So there you go. So if you are a veggie lover, this is really good for you. But of course, if you don't want to put pork, you can put like shrimp or I don't know if chicken is going to be good with this. Maybe. I mean, it's up to you. Or if you just want to cook it with just vegetables, no meat, you can do that as well. <laughs> just put like the crunchy anchovy chili or the baguong. If you can do that, why not? Right? It's up to you. And I'm going to get some rice and I'm ready to eat. Ayan. Hirap magluto. It's so hot even if I'm inside the house and there's an air condition because you're here at the stove all the time in front of the stove. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, <laughs> and I am begging you, <laughs> please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified on my next videos. Be a part of my family here on YouTube. Thank you, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Mwah! Bye!